More to do, more to do. Well, good evening, everyone. It's Terra Quator. Uh, yeah, it's me. It's it's Terra. Terra Quator. Yes, hello. Uh, well, it's Saturday. I apologize. I'm doing some things. I'll explain in a minute, but it, it's Saturday. It's Saturday, October 19th, 2024. What is it? Day 293? Yes! Check that one. Sorry about that. And yes, this thing needs so, so much work. It's um, all kinds of funky right now. Like, that's not an understatement. I, I need to get so much of this thing fixed up. Uh, I'm just working on a very simple avatar for right now. And it's being a pain in the butt because I have very little idea what I'm doing. Usually I buy some assets and just get it working. <laughs> this one takes some work. And no, I didn't buy it. I, I, uh, I use a program. Um, in fact, uh, the program's good. It's just some of the extra things I need to do are a pain in the butt. Anyway, let me take a look here. And like I can say, um, one of the things I'm trying to do, because when I look in the, um, in the, like in, in the VRC SDK and I'm working on, uh, the avatar manager program part where you're getting ready to start uploading and take a look at the, what's wrong with it. What I can say, for those who use Vroid Studio, that's the program. It's a good program. It works. It's simple, straightforward, and customizable. You can use a mobile version, or you can use the desktop version and put it to your Vroid Hub. That's kind of what I did. But, for some reason, the leg hierarchy is constantly trying to say that the hip, knee, and everything are not parented properly. You know, parent-child thing with the uh, the uh, the hip bone and the uh, leg bone. And for some reason, it tries to say that the uh, thigh bone's orientation is at zero, or it, its angle is at zero when it needs to be closer to 180 degrees. And I have no idea what it's talking about. That's when it's. That's when you realize you're a complete novice. That's me. I'm a novice. But. Hopefully soon, or over time, because I'm going to keep working on this thing, so I have... Um... Less over-the-top avatars, I guess? Something, you know, just some simple, some, some simple things. But I look at this. This is what the, this is what the Vroid Mobile does. It gives you some, like, really stretching. The weird thing about Vroid Mobile, though, or just the V-Ride Studio, is I looked at it, and still the performance of this thing is listed under extremely poor, where its polygon count is above 60,000, but the number of bones that are on there, like bones and colliders, are like, what, what did it say, like 600? It made no sense. It makes no sense at all. How are there 600 on this thing? I, I don't see 600 bones and colliders. Uh, let's see. Anything? Oh, well, well, yeah, I got some on there. <laughs> What is it, the individual strands of hair? Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, it, in order to get this thing working properly to use around other people, it's going to take some serious work. My goodness, is it going to take work. Not to mention, um, some of the bones, especially in the hip area, are a little bit slow. I mean, look at this. They're a little bit on the slow side, so if I step around... Uh, maybe it's just my tracking today. I don't know. Well, let me fix that one, though. I'm gonna have to reorient myself. Just a moment. It only takes a moment. But still, the main things I really need to work on for this thing are, are um, getting the number of colliders and bones. Or, you know, like, um, fizz... What do they call it again? It's not fizz bones anymore. Or is it fizz bones now? Uh, you know, the, the yeah, the fizz bones. I need to get the number of fizz bones and colliders reduced. And then I need to optimize its visual quality lower. Because I would like this one to be cross-platform. Because this will be a basic one I can use when I run around and stuff, you know? Which I still don't really do. <laughs> but it would be nice to start getting used to just I don't know how to socialize anymore. I really don't. 
I try. I mean, you saw a couple weeks ago where I socialized with, uh... What did he... A Antivax song? What was his name? Yeah. But, huh. Look at that. So right now... That's another thing I still need to work on, is figuring out how to get the gestures to work on both hands rather than just the one. It's a learning process, because it's... funky. But... right now, I am in... a world. Hang on. I went to one of the new listed under new, because new and noteworthy is kind of inundated with dookie. But... I went to... Un that's one of the things I was hesitant to come here because they call it Unruly Halloween by Lady Cosmic. Description is Unruly Halloween Event Hall. Let's party. It's listed under new. But if you need to find it, it's Unruly Halloween, Lady Cosmic. But yeah. Tess is better at giving those descriptions than I am. But yeah, it's uh, got something I have not done in a long time. And it's probably best that I don't. And that would be never have I ever. Not exactly a good thing for me to even be trying to do. I also had to mute the uh, the um, audio. To, is there a way to actually just stop the audio? Hang on. I didn't see... Oh, here's the media player here. And then just hit the stop button there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you got that tree. Let me... Uh, it's over... Oh, this is... Um, A spinning wheel thing. This is not for me. This is not for me anymore. And, and one thing I will... Uh, you know what? Let me get the camera back out. Let me, let me just get that back out real quick. Yoink. I mean, y'all. Or you. Camera thing. But uh, one thing that I can be very clear with myself with having zero desire to drink anymore. Well... That would be that would be half dishonest. I apologize. Really, it's the desire is there, but I have the willpower to say no. But some of the really popular worlds, even PC only, are probably not the best thing for me to go to because I hear there's still a lot of social pressure to be drinking, and I I don't want to do that. I, I'm good. I'm good. I really do not feel like drinking anymore. Well. Don't get me wrong, I really like the taste of beer. It's just best I don't. You know what I mean? Besides, if, I, if I'm if i okay with just having a carbonated beverage, give me some soda water with no sweetener or anything. I'll be good. I'm fine with that. Let's see. Um, I, did I did try another tea last night. Lilia likes it. I think I made mine a little too strong. Was... Vanilla spice. I think that one's going to be better in the winter time, though. But that cinnamon tea, I still absolutely love. It's so good. So we still have the cinnamon tea. I have my oolong. We have the cinnamon spice, or the vanilla spice. We have more cherry blossom tea. Um, we do have lavender, uh, lavender chamomile and a tension tamer. That's like if I get too stressed out. But so far, what I can say when it comes to um, managing unnecessary stress, I could say, is um, for the past, mm, I want to say, two, two and a half weeks, I've been taking uh, vitamin D3 daily because of the studies I've been seeing, um, not really with humans, but they have shown a correlation of animals who are not getting proper D3 or, you know, vitamin D that um, behave hyper aggressively to their young, which means they like they, they desperately need the vitamin D. So when they get that back in their systems, they're no longer eating their young. It sounds weird, but um, there, were, there was um, there was an episode of Casual Geographic that talked about it. And when I thought, of, like, I thought about all those things, and I do know that vitamin deficiencies are a thing. Our doctors have said, you know, we need vitamin D for certain things, and usually sunlight can... Our house is smelling really good right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing an experiment dinner tonight. But, um, ba based on that one, um, 
that study, the fact our doctors have said we need to worry about our vitamin D, and of course our omega, uh, you know, especially as you're getting... Thanks, phone. Um, so that's what it is. Maybe I need a third lighthouse. A th you know, a third lighthouse might not be a bad idea. Might be a good idea to try a third one just to keep the tracking a little more accurate. If it doesn't make it all more wonky, you know what I mean? But, um, yes, our doctors have said that we do need more vitamin D3. Um, I haven't taken any B12. And part of it is I have, um, because our schedule's so out of whack, I, I take the vitamins a little bit too late. And vitamin B12 is, um, one of the natural energies that you're, you know, um, it's... I don't want to say it's like caffeine, but it, it's a vitamin that helps uh, maintain energy energy usage in your body, kind of thing. I, I can't fully explain it because, well, I'm I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not a doctor, but what I do know is that it's good for you. It's just if it keeps you awake. A little longer probably not the best idea for me to be having at night when I'm trying to get my sleep schedule you know back to normal or you know less meh, everything you know what I mean uh, can I stop saying you know what I mean that'd be great you know what I mean <laughs> uh, that was lame so mainly with that and I have been taking omega-3 uh, fish oil but uh, the vitamin D3 has been, in the past two and a half weeks of me taking it every single day, my um, stress management has been far easier. Like, uh, my, my irritability is lower. And um, that's one thing with, with when, like, your body telling you that your vitamin D deficient is increased irritability. So maybe if you're already... Oh, it's going to sound really weird and possibly even rude, but, you know. Okay, so yeah, I might need to fix that, too. It's a little too far forward. But, um, if people, if you're overly irritable online, and people tell you, go touch grass, you know what, might not be a bad idea to actually heed the advice and, you know, go outside for a bit, get some sunlight. Doesn't mean you need a lot. You don't need a lot, but, you know, some. Some can go a long way. Just even, like, 15 minutes outside, you should feel better. But when you're in a vitamin D3 deficiency, your your irritability goes through the roof, and your ability to regulate your own body energy plummets. And that was the big thing I was dealing with. It's just a complete lack of energy, absolute constant lethargy and irritability. So I was like, okay. I remember our doctors mentioning that we had vitamin D deficiency, and I've been hearing about these things from other doctors too, so why not I give it a try? And as things have progressed through these two and a half weeks of do, using D3, I can, say, I can say in terms of energy regulation, even like not just short term, but long term throughout the day kind of thing, and mood regulation... I, I've I've experienced vast improvements. It doesn't make it definitive. I mean, if you're thinking about those things again, talk to your doctor. Don't don't just listen to me. I'm talking about what I'm experiencing here. But talk to your doctor. May, and you know, if you get some blood work done, see if you have any certain specific vitamin deficiencies. Doesn't mean everyone will experience the same thing. I can definitely tell you when it comes to. Um, what some doctors would prefer people take for stress management does not work for me. I can tell you that much. And I'm pretty sure some of you who are watching know what I'm talking about. And it, th those, um, yeah, they, they, do, they, they cause horrendous horrendous problems for me like not good not good so more I, I i have 
I'm in a position where I have to take more holistic approaches to stress management and stuff because if I if I go the established pharmaceutical route, which um, right now I really don't trust pharmacies because they just keep, you know, forcing the huge prices down our throats, if you know what I it, it, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that last bit, but they... they to put it simply, in the United States, they charge us through the wazoo. So, not having to pay those exorbitant prices would be fantastic. And taking the holistic approach uh, so far is showing that it would be far cheaper for me. So, if it do what works for you and what your doctors recommend. How about that? But for me, I can't do, do what they recommend because they cause... Um, dangerous side effects so i just don't touch them but like i said so far it it seems to be working my stress management is doing better uh it's more balanced throughout the day i have more and more energy to get through the day so, which means if my if my d3 uh d3 blood count is balancing out hopefully i'll get somewhere that's you know doable doable which means i can get back doing yard work without feeling too lazy that'd be fantastic actually i just i just, I just need to do it but yeah yeah that, that should that should about do it yeah i i apologize for just dumping that on you guys it it, it happens and yes i still need to work on this avatar i have a couple others i need to work on but i really really need to um I need to learn a little bit more about the uh, the parent child bone alignment in in the um, avatar skeleton, and then of course the um, optimization and learning the new gestures system because I added a plugin from uh, GitHub, and it's a learning process. And I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> And I hear that when it comes to graphic design and often even with avatar creation, it's uh, it's half the time smacking your head into the desk until it works. And if I remember with all the other avatars I worked on in the past, because it's, it's, it's been a while since I've worked on avatars at all. Like, even the most basic of stuff. Uh, the last time I did is when I got the two newer avatars. That was, what, like six months ago? And the time before that I worked on any avatars was a year and a half. So I seldom ever even work in VR Chat SDK. So I really have no idea. And every time I ever worked on those, it was a memory of me metaphorically, metaphorically smacking my head into the desk until it worked. And eventually it does because I'm stubborn and don't like to give up. I really don't. I'm, I, I, be, I guess... In terms of well, a lot of things. If the, if things aren't going right, being stubborn is a, is can be helpful because if you're overly stubborn, make sure you're trying to get yourself in a good direction on a project. Is especially if you work in a group because if you're just being stubborn, you're just going to bring everyone else down. But anyway, that's a different story. If you're working by yourself and just really, really working hard, being stubborn can be helpful because. Uh, that level of stubbornness can also equal perseverance. Yes, that's the word we're looking for, perseverance. But I mean, no, I'm just, I'm just really stubborn. But anyway, that's, that's enough of, of that today. This is Tara Quator. It's Saturday, October 19th, 2024. We have one week. So next Saturday, I will indeed be taking on the Toe of Satan challenge. I look forward to being here with everyone to take that challenge on. I have to do it IRL, so I'm not going to be doing anything live, but the whole video, the, the way it's going to work is the whole video start to finish, there's going to be no editing in between, just to prove it was done, but if it comes down to it and there are any questions, I might have to do it live, and frankly, I don't know if I want to do something like that, because we're still not... The things that we have available aren't exactly stream ready, especially since the webcam's busted 
and using the phone as webcam uses more CPU power and trying to use uh, uh, VC face for the VTube capture uses CPU and I can't translate it to the GPU. I need something that does GPU. That might help, especially if we're using something like, you know, the Switch, which also the game capture card runs more of it off the CPU. I might be able to pull something off, but we'll see. But anyway, this is Tara Quator. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow on Sunday. I'll see you around.